Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie Sarah. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you things you can do in Hakodate. Hakodate is one of the most popular tourist sites in Hokkaido. Hakodate offers amazing sceneries, historical buildings, fresh seafood, and some more food. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you 10 things you must do in Hakodate. I have a wing. Number one, you have to have some seafood. First up, we have the Hakodate morning market. Here you can enjoy a lot of different types of seafood. There are more than 250 shops within the market. So this is the Donburi alleyway and they have all sorts of Donburi shops over here. There's so many of them. At the morning market, there's also a crab shop. Lots and lots of seafood shops. A melon shop. More seafood shops. Ooh, a crab bun. There were just too many seafood donburi restaurants to choose from, so I decided to rely on Google for my decision. The restaurant that caught my attention was this restaurant called Kikuyo Shokudo. It had really good reviews and appeared on many gourmet sites. Kikuyo Shokudo first opened in 1956 and is loved by both locals and tourists. Ah, hi. Their menu is massive. You can choose from all sorts of different types of seafood donburi or teishoku, rice set. There's more choice on the back. They have some tapas dishes and drinks. There's also the seasonal menu. The seasonal specials were salmon and salmon roe with all sorts of other things donburi, fresh seafood pasta, and we put everything on top of rice, the greedy donburi. I went for the sea urchin, salmon roe, and scallops, donburi. I got my seafood donburi. I went for the classic seafood donburi with scallops, sea urchin, and salmon roe. Apparently the salmon roe has already been seasoned, so I need to put some soy sauce on the scallop and the sea urchin. I'm gonna go for the scallops first. It's really thinly sliced. Mmm. Mmm. That's so fresh and soft and sweet. Mm. Onto the sea urchin. It looks very, very fresh. The sea urchin you can get in Tokyo are normally like very thin and they're not as fresh. So we'll see. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god. Mm. So I got the regular size and this is the smaller size. There's not that much difference, but I think mm, mine's definitely heavier. And maybe there's more rice and there's topping. Anyway, the sea urchin was very, very fresh and I'm now gonna go on to the salmon roe. Mm, it looks shiny. Look at that. Mm. I don't know if it's because of the freshness, but I feel like the salmon roe is more firm than the one I usually have in Tokyo. You need to have more force to chew it in to, for it to like burst in your mouth. And they're really big. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The donburi also comes with pickles and seaweed miso soup. Last bite of Donburi. Mm. In Japanese schools and families, you get educated to eat every grain of rice, so I have to do that. Conquered. 100%. If seafood Donburi during the day doesn't satisfy your cravings for seafood, you can still enjoy seafood at the Seafood Izakaya, Japanese drinking bar. I had some fresh squid sashimi, fried seaweed with sea urchin, 
baked potato because Hokkaido is famous for having amazing potatoes, and corn tempura because Hokkaido is also famous for corns. I'm gonna be trying out the squid sashimi. So with this one, they recommend you to put ginger inside the soy sauce instead of um, wasabi. So I'm gonna do that. I'm okay with ginger, just not wasabi. And then dip the squid into the soy sauce. Mm, oh my god, it's so transparent. Like the squid you have in Tokyo are mostly white because they're less fresh, but here they literally just prepared the squid like now. So it's really, really fresh and it's transparent. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's very soft. Like normally in Tokyo, if you have really bad squid, they kind of taste like rubber. But yeah, this one tastes really, really fresh and it's, it actually tastes like squid. So here's some sweet corn tempura. So I'll put some salt on this. Mmm. Mm. The corn is really, really chewy and it's so sweet. Mm. There's also the Hakodate Ekimae Yokocho, just beside the Hakodate station where there are a variety of izakayas. Number two, visit the Kanemori Red Brick Warehouse. The Kanemori Red Brick Warehouse was the first commercial warehouse that was built in Hakodate. The warehouse is facing Hakodate Port, which opened in 1851 as one of the first international trading ports in Japan, along with Yokohama and Nagasaki. There are quite a few street food shops within the area. It's definitely worth trying some of the local foods. This is a croquette made from Hokkaido potatoes and also a pumpkin ice cream. Mm. I'm gonna have this pumpkin ice cream. Oh, mm. it's like 10 times pumpkin-y than I expected. That is very strong in the pumpkin flavor. It's very good. Mm. Hokkaido isn't that famous with pumpkins, but they apparently use pumpkin grown in this region. And it's very dense. Mm. Number three, visit Goryokaku. Goryokaku was built by the famous Tokugawa shogunate and it served as Japan's first Western style fort. They have the Goryokaku Tower where you can take a view of the park from the top but it was closed because of the pandemic. If you do take a look from the above, the park looks like a star. At the center of the Goryokaku, you can find the Hakodate Magistrate's Office, which showcases traditional Japanese architecture. It's a restored building that was once used as a government office run by samurais. Inside, you can find descriptions of the history of this area. Let's be friends! Let's share food! Don't take my food! My food! No one take my food! Ah! Number 4. Have some salt ramen. Sapporo is famous for their miso ramen and Hakodate is famous for their salt ramen. I got my premium salt ramen. 
gonna try out the soup first. Oh, it's very clear. Mmm. Mmm. Then the noodles. Whoa, look at that pork. It's so good. Mmm. It's very soft. I'm usually a tonkotsu ramen type of gal, but I thought the salt ramen was really good because it was quite light and I'm really hot from eating all the really hot bowl of ramen. Number 5. Visit the Hachimanzaka slope region. This area has not only one very beautiful slope, but it also has a few historic buildings. The British consulate was established in 1859 after Hakodate port was opened. The building was burnt several times, but the present building was designed in Shanghai by the British Engineering Department. And the building is in Japan. Hmm. The building was used as the British consulate until 1934, and today the building is open to public to display some history of the trading port and also serves as a cafe. The symmetrical building with decorated pillars and a balcony on the second floor is a characteristic of the western-style building of the old public hall of Hakodate Ward. There's the Motomachi Park where you can have a view of the Hakodate city. I think it would be great to get a takeaway and have some lunch here. This is a no man's seaweed salt shop. If you want one, you get one and you put a 100 yen coin in here. There are quite a few sweet shops too. Mm -mm. <laughs> Number 6. Visit the Green Island. The Green Island is a man-made island that is facing the Hakodate port. This place is great to have a stroll around. A lot of locals were here to enjoy fishing, something I'd be very bad at. Number 7. Get some burgers at Lucky Piero. Lucky Piero is a local fast food restaurant chain with its most popular Chinese chicken burger. In addition to that, they also serve some massive tower-like burgers. They have 17 stores but are all located in Hakodate. They received first prize for the best local burger store in the whole of Japan. Wow. <laughs> I got the regular hot coffee and look, this is meant to be an S size. In Japan normally an S size would be something like that, but I guess it's an American size here. Mm. So I got my Chinese chicken burger. It's a lot bigger than I thought. This was 350 without tax. Ooh. Look at that juicy looking chicken. Okay, I don't know how to eat this, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> mm. The sweet and salty chicken has so much flavor and it's so, so juicy. Oh my god. Mm. If you ever crave hamburgers, this is definitely the place to be. They sell some Lucky Piero merch. Though, I'm not sure if I want this creepy crown staring at me whilst I'm drinking coffee. Number 8. Visit the Cape Tachimachi. This place was not listed in any of the what to do in Hakodate list, but I randomly decided to visit this place because I saw that it was at the tip of Hakodate. I didn't expect much from this place, but do you know what? The view was absolutely stunning. If you visit Hakodate, I definitely recommend stopping by at this cape. 
On clear days, you will be able to see Aomori Prefecture from here. So here it tells you that that's another part of Hokkaido and that is Aomori Prefecture. That over there is Hakodate Airport. Number 9. Get outside of central Hakodate. I went near the Mount Komagatake region where the scenery of lakes, islands, and the active volcano is amazing. I couldn't see so much volcano because it was cloudy the day I went. I hope you guys got the Natsuki reference. This lake or Numa was formed when rivers were blocked by volcanic mud flows. You also get to see the Hakodate mainline around the lake. There's also the Jomon World, which was selected as one of the 17 sites that were registered as UNESCO World Heritage Site in July 2021. The ancient Jomon period lasted for over 10,000 years and people made the iconic rope-patterned Jomon potteries the Ofune site is where you can take a look at the remains of dwellings. Number 10! You can't miss this one out. Go up the Mount Hakodate to have a stunning night view of the Hakodate city. Mount Hakodate has been awarded the highest rating of three stars in the Michelin Green Guide Japan. The night view from Mount Hakodate in particular was selected as the number one night view of Japan on TripAdvisor. The Hakodate night view is said to be special because the height and distance of Mount Hakodate is perfect, and also there's a unique scenery we see on both sides. So I am at Hakodate Yama and I came here by a public bus and they took me up to this hill and the view is really really amazing. You can enjoy the night view of Hakodate from places other than Mount Hakodate. However, this one is the most popular and also available by public transport. In Japan, there are three main cities where you can enjoy very nice night view like this. One of them is this one, and the other one is Nagasaki, and there's also one in Kobe. I've been to Nagasaki before, and I've been to the second one, so I guess the one for me to go is Kobe next. Maybe that can be my trip for next time. Never know. The night view was absolutely stunning and oh my god, all the- oh my god, my face is so dark. The night view was absolutely stunning and oh my god, all the stars were really really beautiful as well. Surely a camera won't be able to tell its beautifulness, so I hope you get to come to Hokkaido and see it for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that wraps up my amazing trip to Hokkaido. But don't worry, I'll be uploading two more videos on this series specifically on food. So stay tuned for that! Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese foods and culture. Bye! So this is the Donburi Ar- So... Like you need to get- you need- like you need- I got my salt ramen. <laughs>